Hi. Welcome to our Fisheries Professional Licensure Examination Reviewer to our future fisheries professionals. We will be reviewing the topics under the post-harvest fisheries. Today, our topic is about issues and advances in post-harvest fisheries. So let's get started. What are the challenges of the developing countries to have a precise estimations of post-harvest loss? A. Poor data. B. Unorganized landing points. C. Unorganized market. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Because according to the interviews and spreading questionnaires, poor data, unorganized landing points and markets are the main challenge of developing countries, in precise estimation of post-harvest loss. Post-harvest loss was higher at what stage? A. Production stage. B. Processing. C. Selling stage. D. Product development stage. The correct answer is C. Selling stage. In selling stage includes the following. Quality deterioration during chill or cold storage. If quality deterioration is severe then product may be discarded and constitute a food waste. Product reaches its best before date, before it is sold. Insect infestation of processed products. Parasitic infestation of fresh and processed products. Attack by animal pests such as rats or mold growth of processed products. Physical damage due to poor handling of processed products. Filleting and preparation of fish for customers. Poor analysis of demand and supply leading to overpurchase and inability to sell products. Refers to fish that is either discarded or sold at a relatively low price because of quality deterioration or owing to market dynamics. A. Quality loss. B. Physical loss. C. Market force loss. D. Post harvest fish loss. The correct answer is D. Post harvest fish loss. Post harvest fish losses are a major concern and occur in most fish distribution chains throughout the world. Not only do losses constitute lost income to fishers, processors, and traders, they also contribute to food insecurity. A loss of fish means less fish available for the consumer. This refers to the fish that after capture or landing, is not used. It is either thrown away accidentally, voluntary or as authorized. A. Quality loss. B. Physical loss. C. Market force loss. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Physical loss. Physical fish loss refers to fish that, after capture or landing, is not used. It is either thrown away accidentally, voluntary or as authorized. Physical loss can be caused by theft, by insects eating the fish, or by bird or animal predation. Refers to fish that has undergone changes owing to spoilage or physical damage and has suffered quality deterioration. A. Quality loss. B. Physical loss. C. Market force loss. D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. Quality loss. Quality loss refers to fish that has undergone changes owing to spoilage or physical damage and has suffered quality deterioration. Such fish is sold for a lower Price than that which quality loss refers to fish that has undergone changes owing to spoilage or physical damage would have been achieved if the fish were of best quality. These cause operators to sell their product at a price below expectations. The loss is the difference between the expected price and the actual price. A. Quality loss. B. 
physical loss. C. Market force loss. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Market force loss. Market force loss is a loss caused by unexpected market demand and supply situations. These cause operators to sell their product at a price below expectations. The loss is the difference between the expected price and the actual price, which is not part of live transport of farmed fish. A. Stocking. B. Loading. C. Unloading. D. None of the above. The correct answer is D. None of the above. Transportation of fish involves capture, loading, transport, unloading and stocking and so can induce large stress responses from which the fish will take a long time to recover poor conditions during transport, such as overcrowding and inadequate water quality, can cause irreparable damage to the fish and even death. What are the fishing conflict that is the main contributor of post-harvest lost? A. Small-scale fishing. B. Unregulated fishing. C. Unreported fishing. D. B and C. The correct answer is D. B and C. Illegal. Unreported and unregulated fishing undermines sustainable fisheries management poses a serious threat for marine ecosystems, leads to the loss of short and long-term social and economic opportunities, and has negative impacts on the livelihoods of legitimate fishers. Besides spoilage, all of the following is cause of post-harvest loss except a Discarding of bycatch at sea because fish is too small or not valuable enough to land for sale. B. Poor processing techniques damaging fish. C. Animal predation and insect infestation. D. Freezing storage with clean environment. The correct answer is D. Freezing storage with clean environment. The spoilage agents, in warm water fish do feel chilled and slow the action of bacteria and the rate of spoilage helping to reduce post-harvest loss. And freezing storage can extend the shelf life of the fishes or product. What freezing method is used when freezing of smaller pieces of food products? A. Contact freezing. B. Brine freezing. C. Blast freezing. D. Individual quick freezing. The correct answer is D. Individual quick freezing. Individual quick freezing usually abbreviated IQF is a freezing method used in food processing industry. Products commonly frozen with IQF technologies are typically smaller pieces of food products. The short freezing prevents formation of large ice crystals in the product cells, which destroys the membrane structures at the molecular level. This makes the product keep its shape, color, smell and taste after defrost, at a far greater extent. What type of freezer is commonly used in freezing shellfish? A. Batch air blast freezers. B. Continuous air blast freezers. C. Brine freezer. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Brine freezer. Brine freezing technology is an excellent approach to deep freeze shrimp. It provides the final product with an excellent texture, due to the fast freezing that allows for very high coefficients of heat transfer. What is the only non-thermal technology for the seafood industry that allows the development of healthier foods, bringing a higher level of functionality and nutritional values to new products? A. Microwave processing. B. High pressure processing. C. Pulsed light. D. 
radio frequency. The correct answer is B. High pressure processing. High pressure processing is a non-thermal food preservation technique that inactivates harmful pathogens and vegetative spoilage microorganisms by using pressure rather than heat to affect pasteurization. Pressure treatment can be used to process both liquid and high moisture content solid foods. What is the chemical intoxication caused by eating tuna and mackerel? A. Paralytic shellfish poisoning. B. Histamine poisoning. C. Ciguatera poisoning. D. Tetraeden poisoning. The correct answer is B. Histamine poisoning. Histamine poisoning it is an allergy-like intoxication. It is also the most common form of intoxication caused by eating fisheries product and fish like mackerel and this compound is heat stable. Its symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and etc. The following are ill practices committed by traders and vendors, except, a. Using accurate weighing scale. b. Putting nails on prawn heads. c. Adding of potassium aluminum phosphate in smoked products. d. Mixing of good quality and low quality products. The correct answer is A. Using accurate weighing scale. Using accurate weighing scale because they need to use accurate weighing scale and all of the weighing scale must go through inspection by the market security. But there are some vendors who are cheating on the weight of the products. This poisoning result from eating reef fish and shellfish that have earlier consumed toxic dinoflagellates. A. Ciguatera poisoning. B. Paralytic shellfish poisoning. C. Diuretic shellfish poisoning. D. Amnesic shellfish poisoning. The correct answer is A. Ciguatera poisoning. Ciguatera poisoning is the most frequently reported seafood toxin illness in the world that found in reef fishes and shellfish. These problems and damages are due to human carelessness and human error, and almost are preventable. A. Broken fish pieces. B. Discoloration. C. Freezer burn. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Because discoloration, freezer burn, and broken fish pieces can be prevented and they are all belongs to extrinsic quality. The following are the preventable problems and damages due to human error, except, a. Broken fish pieces. b. Discoloration. c. Freezer burn. d. None of the above. The correct answer is D. None of the above. Because discoloration, freezer burn, and broken fish pieces can be prevented and they are all belongs to extrinsic quality. What phenomenon caused by poor quality raw material, poor handling practices and inadequate drying techniques associated with artisanal sun drying? A. Water loss. B. Food loss and waste. C. Food drying error. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Food loss and waste. Food loss and waste is caused by insufficient processing capacity, compounded by bad weather conditions, trigger delays in processing especially at times of excess supply. Poor weather conditions, such as rain and cloud cover, make drying difficult and cause spoilage. It is not unusual to find a situation whereby high catches coincide with periods of poor weather, 
Hence the problem of food loss and waste is more significant and can be seasonal. Which of the following are true to prevent post-harvest fish loss? A. Assess maturity and check your water quality. B. Check your water temperature and avoid injury. C. Keep your produce cool and make sure that the storage area is separate from the processing area. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Assessing maturity, checking the water quality, keeping the produce cool, checking the water temperature, avoiding injury, and a proper storage can help you to avoid major losses. Post harvest fish losses are caused by A. Poor processing techniques damaging fish, B. Animal predation and insect infestation. C. Inadequate packaging and storage practices leading to damage of the end product. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Because poor processing techniques damaging fish, animal predation and insect infestation, inadequate packaging and storage. Practices leading to damage of the end product are the main causes of post-harvest.